MCAT 2015 CRAM Physical Foundations Question Flashcard 29 Newton's First Law All right, let's delve into the question. Which of the following statements describes what must be true in the context of Newton's First Law? A. The object is difficult to bring to a stop due to its high initial speed. B, the tendencies for drivers to keep moving linearly while making a sharp turn on the road is a concept of the exam um, is an example of the concept of inertia. Inertia is a tendency not to change. It kind of summarizes Newton's first law. C, mass is a measure of an object's ability to resist motion or movement of any kind. Or D, an object with zero acceleration and an object traveling at constant acceleration are considered to be um, similar states. I'll give you a moment to select the correct answer choice. Carefully think your way through each um, option. There's only one answer. All right, so hopefully you press pause and you thought your way through to the correct um, answer choice, but let's just delve into the solution a little bit. Okay, so Newton's first law states that an object at rest, as shown here, will remain at rest, and an object in motion at a constant velocity stays in motion unless an outside unbalanced force acts upon it, okay? So that's Newton's first law in a nutshell. So an object with zero velocity at um, a constant and at a constant velocity are consimilar, considered similar states, not objects with zero acceleration and constant acceleration. So answer sort of choice D can be eliminated. eliminated. And mass is a measure of inertia, which is the ability to resist motion. Um, and an object with a large mass would be difficult to stop or get going. So uh, this is not necessarily true answer choice C. It kind of takes things out of context. The middleman that we're missing uh, here is inertia, which is the, an object's ability to resist motion or change, okay? All right. So um, the answer choices left over are A and um, B. And uh, answer choice A is wrong for the same reasons that answer choice C is wrong. Um, so this would want to say an object's high mass would be uh, difficult to make it difficult to bring it to a complete stop, okay? And, okay, so obviously the correct answer choice is going to be answer choice B. And the tendency to continue in a straight line is an example of inertia, so... Even though you're swerving, you're kind of not changing your axis of rotation. That's an example of inertia, okay? All right, so thanks for bearing with me, and good luck on the rest of these uh, flashcard decks.